I wanted to get in shape. I wanted to get in shape. I have grandchildren now. They're running me ragged. By the way, if you're a young parent, everything I was told about grandchildren is true. It is. They are your reward for letting your teenagers live. That's, that's just... <laughs> Fight the urge, let those ingrates live, and they'll bring you a bundle of joy. They will. But just <laughs> give them time. But you've never been sicker in your life till you spent time around little children. You know that. They go to preschool. Why the CDC hasn't shut down every preschool in America? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Mean, they, they're little germ magnets, agar gyres, or petri. They, if you went to an American preschool, shut off all the lights, turn on a black light, it would look like the surface of the sun in that place. <laughs> and they're five years old. They don't know any better. They give stuff to each other. Give this one to your papa. <laughs> and she'll wait till I'm sleeping on the couch and she just stares at me while I'm laying there. And you know, because of gravity, everything in her little mouth is splashing on my face. It's like sleeping under a toxic rain pipe. <laughs> Vanilla wafers and Kool-Aid. <sighs> Get this paste falling on your face. And as soon as I open an eyeball, she goes, Phew! oh, is that Ebola? I haven't had that one yet. <laughs> and the worst is when they take your drink out of your water. They hand you the glass, you got a six course meal floating around the top. Of it. <laughs> you know, Papa, I'll get a new water. Water shouldn't have 40 grams of fiber in it. That's all I know. <laughs> and they live nearby, which is really, really cool. We see them a lot. And uh, my son brought her over one day. He thought it'd be funny to teach my five-year-old granddaughter to give me a wet willy. <laughs> yeah, it's funny now. But, uh... So I got her on my, la on my lap, and I'm bouncing around, and she's licking her finger, going, hey, Papa, hey, Papa, hey, Papa. You know, and it's kind of amusing, you know. 30 seconds into it, she goes, Papa, I got pink eye. What? <laughs> Man! Squirting Perel in my eye. Oh, my God, I'm gonna die! I wanna get you. <laughs> so it was cool. She just turned five. We had the birthday at our house, and it was really kind of cool. And uh, my son dropped her off, and they had to go get her a gift, a bicycle or whatever it was. They didn't want it there. So they drop her off uh, about an hour before the party starts, and she sees all the balloons and everything. She knows it's her birthday. She's five. So she runs down. I'm on the couch. I'm reading a book. She's running down the hall. I'm the birthday girl! And she disappeared. I didn't see her. And then I heard her plow into a wall. <laughs> and I only tell you this because people after the show will ask me, what sort of stuff makes you laugh? <laughs> That would be one of them right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm reading a book, she disappears, I hear ah! you know, That's funny, I'm sorry, that's funny. I tried to comfort her, but I couldn't stop laughing at her. I go, Evelyn, you were moving, I was moving, Papa. And when they cry at that age, they get that yo-yo, it gets about here, they I don't know how they know, it's just like you know, and you get transfixed on the yo-yo, and then the bubble shoots up. Did that come out your little head? You got to get the parent book out, bubble out the head. That could be dangerous. And I don't know what to do with it. She's crying, she's running her nose, and, my, and, and Tammy comes walking by, what happened? And she says, I'll be moving, baby. And uh, I said, she plowed in the wall, she, she's okay. I said, and she goes, what's the problem? I said, the stuff, the junk coming out of her nose. She, Tammy goes, oh, you're such a wimp. And Tammy grabs it. <laughs> she just grabs it like that, this, this toxic waste. Just... <laughs> now she's walking down the hall berating me. You're such a wimp, I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> and it was still connected to her nose. It was like, oh, oh. And she says to me, Tammy says, I bought you handkerchiefs. Who uses handkerchiefs? I don't see the attraction of blowing your nose and then stuffing it right back in your pocket. If you want to hang on to this stuff, leave it in its natural environment. And my father had handkerchiefs, and this is probably why. In our family, as a young boy, if I was crying and my nose was running and my father was walking over with a bald of handkerchief, oh, I backed that snot up as fast as I could, man. <laughs> I'm all right, Dad. Look, nothing coming out. No, I'm <laughs> Come here, boy. Let me wipe that face. No, not the handkerchief, Dad. Please, not the handkerchief. Then you hear him open it. <laughs> oh, no. Come here, boy. <laughs> oh, that hurt. <sighs> oh, my goodness. My eyebrows. I don't have any eyebrows. 
For an entire school year, my mother drew my eyebrows in every morning. For an entire semester, I was surprised every morning. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? You can download it right now to watch, save, and share clips, and you can watch my entire comedy special right on your phone. How cool is that?